Okay, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but Rox wanted me to make the video, so I'm doing it. So it is 11.55 at night. I was binge watching my YouTube videos, as I do, and I was watching specifically my reading Ironic Imagines video, and I was like, what if I look up One Republic on Wattpad, see if there's One Republic fan fiction that exists, and read it, and once I cringe, the video ends. Literally, this isn't going to be like a, oh, if I cringe the video ends, but it's going to be like a 10 minute video. No, the second I do a physical cringe reaction, screen goes black. No outro. I'm not going to say I never know how to end these things at the end of this video. Th that's going to be it. Once I cringe, the video ends. So, I just found out. So, I, I already recorded this intro and like the first like few minutes of this story, but I wasn't recording. So, um... I just found out this 50,000 people read a One Republic fanfiction. More specifically a Ryan Tedder fanfiction, I think. 50,000 people. That just, that just flippin', that feels crazy to me. Okay, I know One Republic is like a huge band. They have millions of monthly listeners on Spotify, but I don't see fans of them anywhere. You know what I mean? So like to see that this many people read this, it's like, where are all these people? Who are fans of- okay, whatever. Stop. Okay. Um, here we go. Like I said, I already read this first few little bit. Anyway, uh, Kimberly, come on, you're gonna be late for your interview, my roommate Jamira shouted. I'll be out in a minute, I shouted back at her. Ugh, my hair looks like a mess. So true. I straightened my brown with blonde streak hair to make it look semi-presentable and decide to wear my favorite gray beanie hat. I decided to wear a white t-shirt, my favorite navy blue Ralph Lauren cardigan with a green stripe on each of the sleeves that my cousin gave, black skinny jeans, eyeglasses, and black Chuck Taylors. I looked at myself in the mirror and decided to put on some mascara and lip gloss since I'm going to be blushing a lot in my interview later. I love how she says she makes her hair look semi-presentable. I remember when I was going to get on a Zoom call with Alex Gascarth. I literally, like, I'm not gonna say, like, I dressed up to look like why your name to flip and make him fall in love with me. He's married and I'm 17. But I I put on makeup and I like, you know, put on, I, I'll put a TikTok somewhere on the screen of what I looked like. I tried that day. Anyway, um, I'm so nervous because I want to uh, I won a contest on my local radio station and I'm going to interview Run Republic's frontman Ryan Tedder and guitarist Zach Filkins before their concert benefiting the charity of the Save the Children campaign. I look at my watch. Shit, I'm gonna be late. I grab my car keys and a bagel. Jamiro left me, said goodbye, and run downstairs to my car. I look at the time. I only have 20 minutes before my interview with the guys. I raced down I-5 down to Los Angeles, blasting some house music. These guys are my idols. They helped me a lot as I went through my breakup with my ex-boyfriend Cameron. I literally owe them my life. I know I haven't gotten that far yet, but this is like well written. I'm scared this video is going to be like really long because I haven't prepared to be funny. I thought it was going to be like a minute long. Anyway, finally I make it to West Sunset Boulevard and park my Jeep across the street from the House of Blues. I grab a notepad and a pen and dash across the street, then suddenly I feel a hand grab me by my shirt collar, pulling me back from the street as a Mack truck passes by, almost squishing me. Hey, watch where you're going, you almost killed. <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't a cringe, that was a laugh. Said a male that sounded vaguely familiar. He extends out his hand and suddenly I feel a spark as I place my small hand on his hand. My breathing hitches and I haven't seen the guy's face yet. What the hell? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I just wasn't paying attention, sir. I meet up with his smoldering gaze and I realize who it was. No way! You're Ryan! I say, blushing at him. Oh, I'm- thank you, sir, for saving me. Oh, god. Okay, that's it. I'm cringing. 